Alrighty, we're going to show a quick review of the new Time Warner app for the iPad, which just came out today, March 15th, 2011. Let me load it here real quick to show you. It's pretty simple. You do need Time Warner Broadband Internet Roadrunner as well as their cable services. The app is available in the App Store, so I already downloaded that. Here's the load screen. First time you do it, you will log on with your Time Warner My Services um, log on. And with anything Time Warner, it's far from perfect. <laughs> A little slow today, but nevertheless. It does have a limited channel selection. Uh, I didn't count the channels, about 40 channels or so. Uh, let's see. As of yet, it does not have on demand. Uh, here, we're watching the History Channel. It only works in the widescreen mode as such. Um, resolution's pretty good. One limitation, this is an iPad, a first gen iPad, 16 gig. Um, the speaker isn't very loud. It's a lot better with headphones or auxiliary speakers. I uh, haven't tried it on the iPad 2. I don't have access to one of those quite yet. Uh, but as you can see, pretty nice. Channel switching is pretty easy. Uh, let's uh, see what's on Spike. Not too many options. Uh, top left, there's a logout button. Top right, channel history. Shows you the channels you've uh, watched so far. Um, pretty nice feature. <clears throat> There, watched history and spike in the, during this session. Um, so far, we'll log out here. Oops. So far, pretty good app. Uh, only works with Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't know if they will, they will support 3G, but uh, so far, no problems. Locally, we have the uh, seven megabits down <coughs> Roadrunner, which uh, is more than adequate for watching uh, videos on the iPad through the Apple TV or through the uh, Time Warner cable app as well as uh, I would like to try eventually here to hook it up to my high def television to see if that works as well. Alrighty and that's the review of the new Time Warner cable app.